Hi, I'm John, owner of Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm doing this short video to show you some things that will help you out in deciding whether I need to come out on a service call or not. First of all, let's look at a GFI. That unit there is a GFI. The bottom button is your test button. Your top button is your reset button. If you have a tester like this, then usually if the two yellow lights are lit up, which are these two, that shows correct wiring. Any other combination is incorrect. Most of them will have a legend which will tell you the specific problem. The typical places that you will find the GFI are in the downstairs bathroom, in the garage, or in the kitchen. Usually, the bathroom lights are attached to the downstairs bathroom GFI. The outside outlets of the house are usually controlled by the garage GFI. If your outside lights or outlets are not working, look very carefully in your garage for a hidden GFI and see if you can reset it. If all else fails and you've checked all the breakers in the panel, then give me a call. We're going to start with a flush mount photo cell. This is the main reason why your outside lights will cease to function properly. Here is a non-flush mounted photo cell. You can tell by the shape. And that screws into a box. And now we move on to the outlets. This is a single plex outlet. This is a duplex outlet. Single plex, duplex. Now you notice there's a slot in the side of this outlet. That indicates that it's a 20 amp outlet. Now if this one had a slot in the side here, this would be a 20 amp outlet. As it stands, this is a 15 amp regular duplex outlet. This is known as a Decora outlet. The squareness is why it's called Decora. Moving on to the switches, this is a standard toggle switch. We then have a rotary dimmer. These do have a very high failure rate. We have a rocker switch, which is also known as a Decora switch. Again, Decora because it's square. We then have a Decora slider. This is a fan slider. This is a smart dimmer. These start out at about $60 and go upwards to $125. I can get you the exact replacement if needed. I'm a licensed Leviton and Lutron dealer and HAI dealer. Now these are all breakers. It's important to know what type of breaker you're putting in because depending on the back they may or may not fit in different panels because as you see that's called a stab point this stab point is completely different from this stab point. They will not go in the same panel. Then we have an arc fault breaker or GFI. You can always tell a GFI or arc fault breaker because they have a white neutral attached to it separately and they have a test button. Now if you have bedroom outlets that are not working you might want to go to the panel and make sure that one of these breakers that has a test button on it is not popped. That's your most likely culprit for a power outage in a bedroom or some other area that has water around it like a pool. There are two more items that might save you a few dollars before I come out there and do a service call. If you have a light like this, which is a motion sensor light, you'll see that there are various adjustments underneath here. Many times it's just set improperly or it needs to be powered down and reset. You might want to play with the adjustment on the bottom. If that still doesn't do the trick, give me a call. The next item 
is a very simple item. It's called a battery. I get a lot of calls because the remote control has a dead battery. So before you call me, check your batteries. Did you know electricians have their own gangs? That's right. We have a single gang box, a double gang box, a triple gang box, and so on and so forth. Now if you call me to replace a broken switch and plate, I need to know the color. This would be white, this would be off-white, and then there's almond, which is a little bit darker than that. And I need to know whether it's a rocker plate or a decor plate, single, double, triple, four, five, six gang. You can save me a run to the parts store by clarifying this. Aside from a GFI breaker, there's also a two pole breaker. This is a 240 volt breaker, and if you're popping one of these, you really do need to call me. But while it's true I am a handyman, first and foremost, I'm an electrician, and any electrician should come prepared. If you have a handyman, he comes out there and he doesn't have one of these to test for low voltage problems or a toner kit like this that he's probably not prepared and what that does is it helps me find broken wire I hope this video was helpful for you and it saves you money on a service call if you really don't need me out there but if it's something that you're convinced that is not something like a pop GFI or just a pop breaker. Give me a call. I'll come out and we'll get it fixed for you. Thank you.